Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I am going to explain a new subject that is data structure introduction. Introduction of data structure. First of all, the definition of data structure is organization of data. Organization of data is called data structure. Organization of data is called data structure. Most of you will feel difficulty. Data, you will assume that data structure is somewhat complicated subject and a difficult subject. Not like that. When you are going to treat the subject as difficult, it will be difficult. If you read it by simplifying it, nothing is there. That's why I will try my level of best to, to explain you uh, how to understand data as a subject without having any difficulty. Normally, most of you, you are having bank account. Why we will use bank account? Everyone will have their bank account to deposit money or withdraw money. These are the two transactions we are going to do. Yes or no? In the same way, coming to programming languages, we are having data structures to store data and to access data. That's why organization of data is called data structure. They are used to organize our data. Organization means not only storing and accessing. If I want to insert new data, if I want to delete some data, it will allow to perform. So the basic definition of data structure is organization of data is called data structures. Being a data structure, it has to allow to perform some operations. What are the operations it has to allow? Being bank, it may be ICICI bank, HDFC bank, central bank or SBA bank. It has to provide some operations. Okay, withdrawing money, depositing money, we can apply loans like that. In the same way, being a data structure, it has to allow to perform some operations. They are number one, insertion. Number two, deletion. Number three, traversing. Traversing means accessing. Traversing means what? Accessing. Number four, searching. Number five, sorting. Being a data structure, it has to allow to perform all these five operations. Hence, these are referred as operations of data structures. Okay. Next, what are the different types of data structures are there? We have two types of data structures. Number one, linear data structures. Linear data structures. Number two, non-linear data structures. What is the meaning of linear? Sequential. What is the meaning of non-linear? Non-sequential. Okay. If we have to call one data structure as linear data structure, when we are going to store data, when we are going to access data in linear manner, in sequential manner, those data structures are referred as linear data structures. So, 
द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ लीनियर डेस्टेचर इज एरे स्टैक क्यू लिंक लिस्ट ऑल दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ लीनियर डेस्टेचर बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू वर्क विथ एरे एरे विल बी लाइक दिस ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए रे दिस एरे साइज इज फाइव ए एफ जीरो फोर फर्स्ट आई स्टोर हियर टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी वेन आई एम स्टोरिंग आई एम स्टोरिंग इन सीक्वेंशियल मैनर आई एम एक्सिंग इन सीक्वेंशियल मैनर हेन्स इट इज रिफर्ड एज लीनियर वेन यू आर गोइंग टू स्टोर डेटा ऑन एक्सेस डेटा If you follow sequential, the meaning of linear is that sequential one by one I am going to access. They are referred as linear data structures. When you are going to work with R D, you know C language arrays. Okay, this is A array capacity five values. When I am going to store value A of zero, A of one, A of two, A of three, A of four. When I am printing values. A of zero, A of one, A of two, A of three, A of four, A of X. Hence, a rate stack Q and Lincoln is will come under the category of linear data structure. Non-linear data structures, trees and graphs are referred as non-linear data structure. Now, some of you may raise one doubt, sir. while implementing trees and graphs those who are having knowledge on trees and graphs you may raise one doubt these trees and graphs are also implemented using linked list then in in this case why are you calling linked list as linear data structure when i am going to implement trees and graphs again we are going to use linked list only then why you are calling it as non linear data structure of course we are going to use linked list only to implement trees and graphs but when i am going to store and accessing data for example i have i want to store data like in tree structure like this a b c like this tree structure e f First, I am storing A, then A, B, D, E, C, F. I am not accessing sequential manner. In zigzag manner, I am accessing. In case of trees and graphs, of course, to implement trees and graphs, we are going to use linked list only. But while accessing, while storing, I am not following sequential approach. Hence, they are referred as non-linear data structure. Okay, that means while storing the Data and accessing data. What type of approach we are following? In linear fashion, if you are going to store it, they will come under linear. In non-linear fashion, you are going to store it. That is non-linear. In coming videos, in depth we will discuss about stack, queue, linked list, trees, and graphs. This is basic introduction to data structure. Go to this video, like my video. comment share subscribe thank you